Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from wherever you are watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, Rigathe Gashagwa and William Ruto both were in Kiss County for two different church functions. But the worst thing is that instead of this of us discussing the good things or achievements, positive, that both Ruto and Gashagwa manage to do in Kisi, we are discussing their failures. Just look at that. You go somewhere to do something to help people in your thinking, eh? But it ends up that you create more mess than helping. This is so sad. There is a statement that Gashagwa made in the church. And that statement is one of the worst. It is embarrassing this government. There was a time when there was protest in this country. People were in mass action because of high cost of living. The Shagwa live on camera in public has confirmed to the Kisi governor Simba Arat that he is the one who withdrew his security. Why? Now listen to this. The Shagwa is claiming that the duty of police officers is to stop demonstrations. That is Gashagwa. I look at that, then I ask myself, does Gashagwa understand what he's saying? I am now convinced that the wire between his brain and his tongue need a checkup. Simba Arati Rafikiyangu. Nilikuwabia. Ulikuwa na liya mambo ya askari. Nika kwa mimi. Tukuwa na maneno. Hata si raiza nitoa askari yako. Mimi njiru nikuwa nimetoa. Unajua nikuwa nini. Ilikuwa ni mambo kidoku. Askari kasi yake ni kusipamisha maandama. Maandamano. Sasa weo kichukua askari upeleke kwa maandamano. Si wataumizana. Sasa tukasema vile maandamano naendelea. Na njini muna peleka askari kwa maandamano. Wataumizana na askari wenzao. Sasa tukasema wale wa watu ya maandamano wapumzika kidogo maandamano iishe. Saa ile maandamano imeisha tumekurushia askari. Siyo manono ni rais. Lakini mukirudi tena kwa barabara na askari yetu tutawatoa. Now we are continuing this panel discussion but just a quick request. For those who are watching and you have not subscribed please consider subscribing to our returning subscriber Samasa, thank you so much and again to all our viewers please give this video a thumbs up thank you so much and back to this discussion now in Gashagwa statement you see ignorance and impunity of highest order and I can tell you with this statement for me Gashagwa cannot continue to represent me on anything with this one you cannot be my deputy president no. It cannot be that way. A man who is interpreting the constitution of Kenya upside down, he cannot continue to represent me on anything. Because we know very well demonstration is protected in our constitution. It is very clear. You have a right to assemble, a right to raise your grievances, a right to protest, demonstrate, picket, speak your mind when you feel that someone is doing something that is against the law or he is not doing what he promised people he's going to do. So this is one of the way we used to speak our mind. We register our disappointment. When we're not satisfied with what we're doing, we have a right to go and demonstrate. But then, what is the work of police officers in such kind of a situation? What is the duty and responsibility of police officer in demonstration? Is there work to stop demonstration? 
or to protect those who are demonstrating and properties. Kazi ya polisi ni kulinda wale ambao wako kwa msafara ya maandamano na kulinda pia mali. And this has been tested and proved in some of countries including countries here in Africa and South Africa. Unapata polisi wanaongoza wale wanaandamana, waandamane kwa amani, wawalinda watu wasiwapige na pia wanalinda mali ya watu isiharibiwe. That is the spirit of our constitution. But not what the shagwa is vomiting. Sasa anasema polisi wangeenda kupigana. Since when? Yule polisi wa Arati aendelea kulinda Arati na yule mwenye kwa sababu kukiwa na maandamano you notify police officers to provide security but not tear gas. Not that kind of bitter water they used to spread on people. Why is it that in our constitution it is clear that when you want to have a mass action you inform police officers the reason behind this it is not asking for their approval but it is just notify them so that they can also provide security to those who are protesting during that time and the area in which where they are going to be protesting bishaka wanasema kazi ya polisi ni kusimamisha maandamano This is a whole deputy president. What do you think? What do you think about watu wenye wanasikia gashagwa akisema hivi? The other countries now listening to a deputy president in Kenya trying to interpret our constitution and the laws governing this country. Anasema kazi ya police officer ni kusimamisha maandamano. <laughs> gashagwa is no longer an embarrassment to our country he has now become an embarrassment to himself he should listen to his statement and he has to learn something akae chini ajiitisha mkutano ajisikize yeye mwenyewe ni nini alikuwa anasema you can't continue to be my deputy president when you are an embarrassment to yourself it was impunity to withdraw security to members of parliament senators governors opposition leaders just because they are in agreement with what Kenyans are going through and they are leading protest the what you should be doing is to listen to what they are saying and provide solution but not you beat people you kill people no that is the opposite that is dictatorship that should be stopped so gashagwa is displaying the act of dictatorship in a country where we have democracy where rule of law should be respected where we have improved on our constitution but is living in old days of moi even moi we can't blame him too much the constitution has given had given too much power to the president but now we have changed we moved on we have a different one these individuals have rejected him to upgrade they have rejected they want to live in nyayo era in this century this cannot happen gashagwa aambiwe kazi ya polisi sio kusimamisha maandamano that i am the one who withdrew your security is a kind of intimidation but that one displays stupidity and ignorance in gashagwa that's why many kenyans you would see them saying that Gashagwa's mouth is running faster than his brain. Ndio maana nasema kwamba the wire between his 
pray and his tank need a checkup. Because you can't just run towards unaongea tu na mwaga maneno you vomit. Hey. You spill venom whenever you want, wherever you want and how you want. Then you claim to be the second in command. So it means they will never respect the rule of law. They are not ruling by a constitution. They have, they have put aside our constitution. Otherwise, if they respect the constitution, this cannot come from a leader. It cannot. Let someone tell Gashagwa that we will demonstrate, we will protest, there will be mass action. This is even happening in companies, private companies, in schools and everywhere. It will continue. They cannot stop. If there was no demonstration, we would not have this 2010 constitution. Even Gashagwa himself cannot be a deputy president today, including William Ruto, hata kuwa president siku ya leo. But because kulikuwa na maandamano ya kuleta mabadiliko that's why they are even enjoying power today he's forgetting quickly 